Hey everybody, this is Praxis here for Tactical.com and today we're talking about the bug out bag, also known as an emergency preparedness bag by people who aren't preppers. So what an emergency preparedness bag is, or a bug out bag, is a bag that you put emergency supplies in if you ever have to leave your house in a hurry, you know, run out of there, that kind of thing. It could be for wildfires, floods, anything like that. Uh, but before we get into like, you know, what should be in your bug out bag, and I will give you some advice on that. I do have some tips that can help you kind of decide what you should have in your bag. This one here is made by Maxpedition, and this is kind of what you see a lot of people have for their bug out bags in the prepping community. It's a bag with lots of different pockets, lots of different compartmentalization. Uh, it has a tactical feel to it. It's got like, uh, it's got Velcro so you can stick stuff on there. There's some Molly webbing on the side here. Uh, it's the kind of thing that, you know, it looks really cool. And I use this as kind of my EDC bag. So I find this very useful. There's some sunglasses on here, nail clippers, you know, all, all the kind of boring stuff that oftentimes you wish you had when you were out. This is kind of like my purse. And I, I carry this around, you know, whenever I go to different places. But there's a whole other approach to uh, a bag. And that's what I have down here, which is this kind of classic uh, frame pack. This is an external frame pack. And there are a lot of uh, differences, a lot of advantages and disadvantages between the two of these. Now, this kind of tactical thing that you see a lot of people use in the preparedness community, this is great because it has a lot of different pockets. It's really easy to organize this kind of thing. Whereas something like this, oftentimes it has a couple really big you know, storage areas, which brings the, up the advantage of this kind of thing these tend to have a lot more storage space than a lot of these more tactical kind of packs. Another advantage of these uh, over a lot of the tactical packs is the way that they actually hook up onto your body. And these are vastly superior when it comes to the ergonomics of actually going onto your body and strapping on in a way that is really comfortable. Yeah, the lumbar support uh, in these, if there is one, is usually in the proper position. And the way that these hip straps are supposed to go on is that these clip on right over your hips, you can snug down and that allows you to uh, free up your shoulders. So you can kind of, uh, as you're walking for a long distance, you can be shifting the weight from your hips and then back onto your shoulders and back and forth. And it, it can make going over long distances a lot more comfortable than uh, you know, having a, a backpack that you can't kind of flop between the two of those. So from a comfort perspective, these kind of frame backpacks are really great, but you can't organize quite as much in them. There are a lot of people that make, uh, you know, various rolls that have pockets in them and they can go into these things and you can organize the, um, them very easily in that regard. But they're two different things. Walking around with this on your back has a different impression than walking around with this on your back. So that's the first uh, determination is you have to figure out what you're going to put all this stuff into. And, and then once you get past that part and you, you know, kind of have a sense of the way you want to do that, the next idea is what do you want to be carrying around? I've broken up my camping gear into several different bags and I have a pile of them and they're just all ready to go all the time. And uh, to accompany that, I have a list of all the bags that I need to make sure that I remember whenever I go camping. And on this list, I have my EDC pack. That's what I bring every day with me. And then I have a whole section of things that I'm going to bring if I'm going to be going camping. Then I have a whole section of things that I would be bringing if there was an emergency. I've kind of tiered uh, all my bags in a way that I can choose which ones I want to bring with me based on the scenario that is unfolding around me. That everyday carry pack that I always have on me, food bag, a camping bag, a shelter bag, and a bedding bag. Food has various things that you can eat, rice, beans, uh, all, all the basic foods that you would bring with you to go camping. Granola bars are great, oats are great, I've got some sugar in there, dehydrated milk in there, uh, spices, salt, things of that nature, a water pump for purifying water, utensils, also pots and pans for cooking, you know, minimal, small stuff, but something that you can use to boil water and all that kind of stuff. Beyond that, uh, I have the camping bag, and the camping bag has all the various kinds of tools that come up when, you, when you're camping, like a clothesline, wanting to have a clothesline, uh, having a, you know, a shovel for doing any kind of trenching or anything like that, uh, you know, knives, hot water, bladders, and, and things of that nature that might like you might want to put into a sleeping bag or uh, to keep you warm. Uh, you know, basically anything that you use while you're camping that isn't food and isn't your tent. I put my tent and stuff like that in the shelter bag that also includes some, uh, some tarps that I can use to spread out over areas. Oftentimes, at least whenever I go camping, it always seems like it's raining. So it's nice to have your tent, but also have a tarped off area 
where you can uh, you know, do some of your cooking, uh, you know, do some of your eating, and just not be cooped up in the tent if it's you know, just even drizzling. In addition to that, I also have, I mentioned a bedding bag, and that is things like sleeping bags, sleeping pads, blankets, sheets, uh, you know, any of that kind of stuff I put into that bag. Obviously, that's a very light but very bulky bag. Uh, and the best way to figure out what you would want in all of those different bags is really to go camping. And that is going to get you a really high quality, really effective, really complete set of bug out bags that you're going to be able to bring out that are going to be customized to you. Just get out there yourself, kind of live off the land to some degree. I mean, you're bringing stuff, but you're, you know, you're kind of making do off of the land and, and all that. Um, but if you do some brainstorming, you might think of things like maybe wanting to bring some cash. So having some cash is ready for you to grab. Maybe you want to be bringing uh, some extra water. I have a five gallon jug of water that I can fill up if I feel like I'm going to be leaving ho the house and I may not have access to that kind of thing. So that's it. That is my advice to you is really do your own research, do your own testing, find out what you need. Everybody is different. Everybody has different needs, whether it's medication, um, mobility issues, or whatever. You really have to test it out, see what you feel comfortable being without, see what you feel uncomfortable being without, and you'll have that peace of mind that if you ever need to leave the house in a hurry, you're gonna have a lot of that stuff. And that peace of mind spreads out into all the rest of your life, even when there's not an emergency going on, because, well, at least for me anyway, I feel like, yeah, I can breathe a little easier. If something ever happens, I know I at least have that to kind of take care of myself and my family. That's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.